So, this is not how I planned on doing this introduction to this video, but um, life happens. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Jay, and this is not going to be a fitness related video, obviously. I am getting my boobs done, finally. I've wanted them done probably since I was like 16. But um, I am currently in Miami. I'm going to CG Cosmetics, um, Dr. Hunsaker. Now, I've heard mixed reviews about this place. Um, I kind of bit the bullet and was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna do it anyway because I've heard, I've kind of heard bad things about the facility itself and like the staff, but not so much the doctors. The doctors have pretty good reviews. Um, but yeah, I had my pre-op today at 12 o'clock and it went really well. Everybody there was actually really, really, really sweet. Like there was not one person who was rude there. I'm out of breath. But yeah, they were all so sweet. Um, they did text me, I believe it was two days before, to tell me that I was going to be there for two to three hours. So I got there at 12 and the whole process took about two hours and a half. I left at like 2.30 but overall it was really, really good. I'm really excited. Um, and yes, my surgery is tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I wish it was earlier but it's fine. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'll tell you guys more about like the size that I choose and um, things like that, I guess, after the surgery. Because as of right now, I don't know what size I'm getting and I don't even meet the doctor until tomorrow. Um, and I'm allowed to spend like 30 minutes with him, but that's about it. So <sighs> that's that for now. Um, but yeah, um, I will keep you guys posted after the surgery. So today is the day, it's surgery day. Um, I kinda got ready to leave way too early, but that's fine. Um, I'm dressed and ready to go. Um, I'm excited, I'm nervous, I keep looking at myself. I don't know why, but um, let me show you guys my surgery outfit that I have on. So, I have on my zip up hoodie that I got from Shein. They told us to wear something that zips up or buttons up for obvious reasons. Um, and then I also have these like comfy PJ pants that I got from Target. I got them a little big because I wanted them to like be comfortable and not dig into my skin. Um, I just wanted to be comfortable after the procedure. Um, they make you purchase compression socks to wear after surgery for a couple weeks, so I have these on as well. Um, and then you also have to purchase a surgical bra and a breastband, so I have that with me as well that I'm gonna bring. So yeah, that's the OOTD. This is like super comfy, it's really cute. So, I'm out of surgery and I feel great. I feel, well, I'm still high, but I feel really good right now. Um, I'm so high that I don't really know what I'm saying, so I'm probably gonna try to get some rest and then I'll come back and update you guys about everything once I'm no longer high. But surgery went great, doctor was amazing, and yeah, I have no complaints. I'm high. I'm eating some yogurt. I don't really feel pain, I just feel really tired. I was expecting worse, but as of right now, I feel okay. Um, but yeah. So 
So this is me as of right now. It's like almost nine o'clock. Still not in any pain. Um, I just feel like it's kind of hurting me to breathe. Not hurting, but it's like I'm working extra hard to breathe. It kind of feels like I'm constantly trying to catch my breath. Um, but these are them right now. They're very swollen and high. They are going to drop, which I cannot wait for because right now I'm not really happy with how they look because they are so swollen and like they're, su they're super high. Um, we ended up going with 400, 445 cc's. Um, I'm not sure what like cup size that is yet, so we'll see in a couple weeks. I'm a little bloated from the medication, but for the most part, I feel really, really good. Um, yeah, no pain. Uh, just like, I feel a little dehydrated, but that's about it. I feel really good. Um, and I have my post-op appointment tomorrow at 10.30. So, um, yeah, I mean, right now I'm struggling to breathe while I talk, so I'm gonna stop for now. Um, and I'll give you guys an update tomorrow morning after my post-op. So this is the night after surgery. I didn't really vlog much today because I was in so much pain, like excruciating pain. I wasn't expecting this much pain. Um, I had my post-op today. It went pretty well. He just told me things to do for a couple of weeks. Um, the doctor also gave me like a scar gel for my incision. And he told me once my implants finally drop, I'm going to be a full C close to a D cup. Which sounds good to me. Um, I ended up moving from the bed to the couch because for some reason like I feel like I have more support on this couch and I'm much more comfortable um, I was also told to walk around a little bit to avoid blood clots so I just went for a walk around the pool I did a couple laps and I'm feeling a little better now but that's about it for today I'll update you guys on how I feel tomorrow Finally going home. So happy. <laughs> Today is the fourth day. I think it's the fourth day. I got home yesterday and I'm not feeling the greatest today. I thought by now I would feel a lot better, but I don't. Um, I'm just very tight. My back hurts from having to sit up. Um, my hair is a freaking grease ball. I can't even wash it. Like, I could barely wash my face because it hurts to lift my arms. Just like little stuff like that, but I'm so over it. Um, yeah. My lower back and, um, actually my entire back, like, they just hurt so bad from having to sleep sitting up. It has not been fun, and um, I don't remember if I told you guys this, but the medication they give you makes you like constipated, which makes you bloated. So I've had no bowel movements since the day before surgery, so I look like I'm five months pregnant. You can't really tell. Well, maybe you can. I mean. I'll probably get up later and show you guys. Right now, I don't have the energy. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I'm doing a sucky job at vlogging. So, shout out to the girls that vlog their boob job journey because I don't know how you do it because it is a struggle for me to even pick up the camera and show my face looking like this every day. Um, so, yeah, I'm praying that I feel better by next week i don't know something else that kills me is this damn band um 
like it's so tight and it kind of like digs into your skin it is not comfortable at all i hate this thing but i have to wear it in order to bring to help push the implants down but boy this shit hurts um but that's it for now i'm currently home alone i think my mom's coming over soon to help me out so yeah and looking a hot greasy mess um i finally put my aligners back in because ever since i left to get my surgery i've been slacking i haven't been keeping up with them so put them back in but anyway my mom just left it was good i'm happy she came her my sister and my brother came and um they brought me snacks um she made me farina because i was dying for it we ordered food um she braided my hair but it obviously didn't last we watched a movie and stuff and they took really good care of me it was nice to have them here and um now i'm just chilling about to watch some youtube videos um i felt some pain coming back so i took my last oxycodone codone whatever which i'm happy about because i'm like tired of being on these strong drugs um oh and i finally had some bowel movement after what five days um so yeah, overall it was a really good day. And yeah. What else do I have to tell you guys? Is there anything else? I don't think so. Um I'm probably gonna get back on here in a little bit to show you guys my sleeping arrangement. Um I would show you now, but I just sat down and I don't feel like getting back up, but I'll show you guys in a bit. And, um, that's my cat. I don't know what's wrong with him. But yeah. This is my fifth day post up, and I feel okay today. I'm actually going to, I'm going to Target because I need some things like yogurt, some snacks, just like easy things to eat. While I'm in recovery, I have to get some cat food and stuff, but yeah. I'm feeling good today. I showered. Still haven't washed my hair or anything, and that's really bothering me, but there are more important things to worry about. Um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos um, on breast augmentations and a lot of these girls seem like by day three they were good like they didn't have much pain me i feel like i said this already but i'm now on day five and i still feel like fuck i'm not in excruciating pain but i'm in pain i can't really sit up by myself my back hurts my breasts feel super tight they still don't feel like boobs they feel like super inflated balloons or like water balloons. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, I'm in better spirits today. Can't wait to do my hair. Can't wait to go back to myself and do my makeup and all that good stuff. And the light's green. But all right, talk to you guys soon. Oh. This camera does not allow me to like zoom out it's so weird and I can't really put my arm out all the way to make it like further out um so that's why I always look so close to the screen I wanted to tell you guys about this drink that I'm drinking it's called Juven or something like that it's like something on my finger um it's by Insure and it's like a wound healing supplement or something like that um 
it is pretty expensive and it is kind of hard to find luckily i found it when i was in miami like right up the street from my hotel at walgreens it was um 25 dollars for a uh, eight pack but it's like i think a hundred dollars on amazon but um my mom's friend had breast surgery because she had breast cancer and um she drank this and she swore by it she said it helped her heal very nicely and quickly so i've been drinking this twice a day um i have the orange flavor and i just mix it with orange juice and it literally tastes like orange juice Ooh. okay guys so i am officially seven days post up one week post up it is 305 so i had my surgery at two o'clock last week um so yeah oh i'm out of breath so i tried to make myself look a little bit more presentable um i'm feeling good today i'm not really in any pain besides my back from like i said having to sleep up sleep sitting up um i can move my arms for the most part and it doesn't hurt. Um, I'm trying to catch my breath. I've been doing a lot of walking around. I've been like a little more active. Like I put the laundry away yesterday. Made myself something to eat. Um, I will be honest and say that at around like probably 6 o'clock this morning when I woke up. I was like, am I ever going to feel better? I do not see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because I watched so many YouTube videos of other girls that got their boobs done and they seem to be like, okay, within three to four days. But me, I'm one week in and I still feel like, this morning at least, I still, I felt, I didn't feel good. I felt super duper duper tight. Like I, my back was killing me. It was hurting me to get up, um, but as the day went on, I did feel better. I still feel very tight. Um, give you a little sneak peek. My boobs still are very, got my nipple. My boobs are still very, very, very swollen, very high. Um, I still have no feeling under here. So, um, when I take the bra off, it's very uncomfortable. Like when I take it off to shower, I can't wait to put the bra back on to like help them feel more secure. <sighs> oh my God, I'm out of breath, Lord. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue updating you guys from here on out. I know that I am gonna do like a Q&A after this um, to go more in depth about the facility and my review on them, um, the size I chose and things like that and why um and just like allow you guys to ask me any questions that you have about breast augmentation if you're interested in getting one um so that'll probably be like a maybe like a month follow-up video or something like that but let me actually show you guys my little sleeping situation so here is my little sleeping situation my bed is a mess so I literally have a back pillow. I have two pillows in this pillowcase. This small pillow and then my neck pillow that I sleep with. So many people keep laughing at the neck pillow. and I'm not really sleeping with it by choice. I was told to sleep with it to secure my neck. I mean to support my neck. Since I am sleeping sitting up. Here I have a heating pad because... Um, my back muscles and like my butt get like so sore from sleeping sitting up so i kind of use that to keep my like i guess the blood flowing in that area and to like relax the muscles but i also i'm probably i probably am gonna repeat this in the follow-up video but i'm gonna say it now anyway to end the video um i got 
445 cc silicone gummy bear implants um, he did do them under the muscle um, I lose my breath so easily it's like I have two fucking melons sitting on my chest so bear with me <sighs> so yes and so they have different type of implants I can't remember exactly which ones he did tell me the day I went um, I think it's low low plus profile moderate profile high profile and ultra high profile I ended up having to get the ultra high profile implant now you guys might be confused because I was confused about this I thought that the profiles meant like how they place the implant so I thought like low profile means they placed it low to have a more natural look and that high meant they placed it high to have that you know really fake perky look so when I met with my doctor and told him what I first I showed him a picture I showed him three pictures and then I told him what I wanted and I said I know for sure I do not want high profile I don't want my boobs to be sitting up here and he said to me, well, you don't know what you need to get that look that you want. And he explained to me that the profiles are types of implants. They're not, it's not the placement, but it's the type of implant. So I ended up needing the ultra high profile implant because of my frame. So if you have like a smaller frame or like, or if you're more narrow and like you have, um, I don't really know how to explain it <sighs> but anyway so I'll explain it this way bear with me the low profile implants are wider with less projection um, and then as you go up the implants are more narrow with more projection so if you're somebody that has less breast tissue and like you're smaller at the top they're gonna suggest you either a high profile or ultra high profile implant because like I said those implants are more narrow but have more projection so if you're have if you have a small frame like me and a doctor puts a low profile implant in you the implant is gonna be wide and it's gonna mainly sit like in your armpit and that's what you don't want so that's why he gave me the ultra high profile like he measured me each way and you know he felt my breast tissue and everything um, to decide on that so once they drop they're still gonna look natural but yeah um, whew, that took a lot out of me but if you guys have any questions um, either leave the questions in the comments below or I'm gonna leave my Instagram in the in the description box below so if you have any questions you can also DM me on Instagram and I will make a Q&A video soon so I love you guys and thank you guys for watching I'm sorry if it wasn't as exciting as you were hoping but it is my first vlog and I was in pain for most of it so most days I just didn't feel like vlogging as much as I really wanted to I, I couldn't um, but yes please subscribe and like and follow me on Instagram I'm gonna plan to be more consistent and post many more videos so yeah peace